Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be continuing talking about some things that we learned from Star Wars Celebration. Um, so as I've said previously, I wasn't able to watch and react to any of the trailers or anything like that. Some of them were exclusive to the event and some of them have been released. However, because I watched them live at the convention, I can't particularly react to them. However, today we are going to be talking, in this video we're going to be talking specifically about Bad Batch. So I've made a, a video about Ahsoka. I've made a... Um, I'm gonna be making this video about Bad Batch specifically, and then I'm gonna make like a a video of a bunch of different things together because I feel like there's enough to talk about with Ahsoka and enough to talk about with Bad Batch that I can make them their own videos. Whereas I'm gonna compile a skeleton crew, acolyte, and or all that kind of stuff into one video, um, just to make it a little bit easier. So today we're talking about Bad Batch. So we haven't recovered. A lot of us haven't recovered. I haven't recovered for sure. Um, the very last episode of the Bad Batch Season 2 was very hard to take in. Uh, I still haven't accepted it yet. Um, and yeah, on the Monday of Star Wars Celebration, we had a very clone Bad Batch themed day. So me and my friend Jodie, we cosplayed, uh, she cosplayed Tech and I cosplayed Mayday. They were like casual, comfy cosplays and it was so nice. And we went to the Bad Batch panel and we met Dee Bradley Baker um and we we met him for a photo op and then we met him afterwards for an autograph and he did his gregor giggle for us would you be able to say something in your gregor's voice please gregor's voice yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's my favorite <laughs> i love him i love his story his trajectory is a fascinating one and that was really sweet um and he told me that like i'm the first mayday he saw he he loved both of our cosplays and he was so grateful for like just he was so grateful and he's so sweet. He is so, so nice. I think he is one of the loveliest people I've ever met. Um, and that was an absolute honor to be able to uh, be in his presence and be able to speak to him for a little bit. Um, yeah, Monday was very Bad Batch themed. So the Bad Batch panel was mostly them just kind of going over the first season. They were talking about like each character and their development. And they're talking about like their favorite episodes and um, what certain things mean. And, um, of course, they got on to their conversations about tech, which the entire room just was kind of a bit like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, everyone was like, nope, we don't like this. We don't want to talk about this. Um, so Michelle started talking first, uh, the, the person who voices Omega. Um, and she got very teary-eyed and she was very upset. Um, but no, this is, this is kind of like my, my perspective on it. But she was talking about tech and she was saying about how she originally didn't know. And she was like, I didn't know that he wasn't going to be coming back this episode. He doesn't, he, he doesn't come back in this episode, at least. It's, um, I mean, it was really, it was really emotional. And I heard whispers around me of people like pointing it out. She said specifically this episode. So it could have either just been a slip up, um, a mistranslation. Um, she, like, she could have just said this episode in just a general term, but for me personally, the way I took it is I think she was trying to give us a bit of hope because I think she wants that kind of hope for herself because she was really upset over tech, um, just like the entire room was. So the way she said it could possibly give us a hint that he might still be okay, but we, we have absolutely no idea. Um, and not a single person on that panel said the word dead, died, or death. They used the word sacrifice, but sacrifice doesn't always mean death. Um... So none of them used those three words. Not that I picked up on anyway. They might have done, but I don't I don't ever remember hearing anyone say those words. Um, so I'm still kind of holding out a little bit of hope, but the way they were speaking about him, it seemed like they were being very careful and very like, you know, choosing their words wisely. Um, but maybe I'm thinking into it too much. I have no idea. So they talked about the Mayday and Crosshair episode. I think it was called The Outpost. Um, and Dee was saying that that was his favorite episode. A bunch of other people were saying that that was some of their favorite episodes as well. Some of their favorite character development, their favorite scenes, favorite bonding, all that kind of stuff. And I was so happy because I was sat there in my Mayday cosplay, absolutely loving the shit out of Mayday. And they started talking about him. And that was that was wonderful. Um, it was nice to hear them talk about that. And that's when Dee said that Mayday had now become one of his favorite clones as well, which was also really sweet to hear. Um, and they basically called Crosshair the callus of the Bad Batch. And me sat there this whole weekend, like, during, like, the Lucasfilm panel and the Ahsoka panel, I was, like, sat here, like, when are they gonna say Callus's name? No one has said Callus's name. They haven't announced Callus yet. 
And like the entire time I was waiting for that. And then the one time I hear his his name is when I think it was D or someone I can't remember exactly who it was, but they compared Callus and Crosshair. They're like, yeah, Crosshair is the Callus of the Bad Batch. And I'm like, excuse me. Um, and I see it. I completely see. It. I completely understand that. And so that was my little like happy little name drop that meant absolutely nothing, but meant the world to me. Um, and so at the end, they basically said to us, hey, look, we're coming back for season three, but it's the final season. Um, and then they showed us a teaser trailer. So they haven't finished season three yet, but they were able to get enough footage to show a very small teaser trailer. Now, that has not been released to the public, so I don't want to get in trouble by like by being like, hey, here's what happened. This happened, this happened, this happened. I don't have recorded footage of it because that was obviously not allowed. But what I can tell you is we had... A, if you so if you don't want to know what's going to happen in season three i mean it's not really like big news but there is a character reveal um that you might not want spoilers for so if you don't want to hear then this is what i'm going to be talking about for sort of the rest of the video because this is not going to be a long video um so we had a reveal of a character that people have been waiting for we got to see wolf yes wolf so we've had we've had rex show up we've had gregor show up and now we've had Wolf show up. So the three, the three musketeers, they're all here. They're there. They've all shown up in the Bad Batch. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see how they manage to contact Wolf, where they get him from, how, how things kind of progress. So that's going to be a very interesting plot point for that season. Um, we also got to see Crosshair and Omega. So um, they haven't hurt them massively. They haven't killed them, at least. So that's good um crosshair was looking really like he looked so sad and so worn out and so depressed and my heart hurt for him um and there was a scene we didn't get to see how them two meet but there was a scene of uh, crosshair and omega talking to each other i think it was like three i think there was like three bars so they couldn't actually like they weren't in the same room but they could see and hear each other um and that was kind of heartbreaking to see because omega was talking about like you know their brother's they're, they, you know, they're going to help and Crosshair was like, oh, but I'm not one of them kind of thing. And I don't really know the con the full context behind it because, again, it was just really short clips. Um, but we did get to see them, like, converse with each other, which was really kind of, kind of nice. It wasn't in a good way, but it was still nice to know that they are conversing and that they do have access to talk to each other. Um, Omega had a nice outfit. And also there is rumors um, that Hunter cut his hair which is dumb. The, the people are saying that he cut his hair and he has a black bandana. That's not true. His hair was the exact same. And uh, it showed like scenes of him and uh, like him and Echo and stuff talking about like, you know, she's waited long enough. We need to go find her. So I don't know how large the sort of time gap. I don't think it's going to be too large of a time gap, um, but there is going to be a little bit of a gap um, between it. So I'm going to assume that they're going to go find help from other people first and maybe find... B and you know she's smart she's smart as hell they're gonna have recordings on text goggles and it's gonna show them where he is and fee's gonna know and he's gonna be fine it's all good it's fine and yeah so i think fee's gonna play a large part in it i think that cody will uh, hopefully come back next season um especially now that we have wolf as well like it'll be kind of nice to have like a bunch of og clones back uh which is always nice to see i forgot as well that we also got to see fennec in the trailer so fennec will be returning so I'm going to guess that Fennec's going to have something to do with them getting back. But it might mean that, like, people have kind of had thoughts of, is there, like, a, a spy or someone that's trying to, like, help them from the inside? Um, and a lot of people are, like, hoping that it's Scorch. Um, like, the way Scorch made sure to grab Omega before anyone, like, shot at her or hurt her or anything. Um, and because it's Scorch, he's just a baby boy. He's just a sweet little bean. Um... So it kind of hurts to, like, know that he's on their side. But also, he could also be in there helping. We don't know. We have no idea. Or it could just be the uh, Omega's sister that we now know about. Um, she could be helping from the inside. Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Because they did mention Tantus. They, men they mentioned the area in the trailer, I think, as well. Um, so they know where they're going. They know how to get there. So, um... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but it was really nice to see a season three trailer. It's sad that it is only end that it is only like it's going to end after season three. 
Um, but that might mean we get to lead into more different, like, uh, animated clone shows. Because I don't want this to be the end of clones. I want us to have more. Like, no matter what era it's from, no matter what clones it is, I just want more clone content. Because it's my, it's my favorite part of the animated stuff. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, the, the, the Bad Batch panel was really, really awesome. Um, I had a lot of fun at it. I enjoyed it. And it was very emotional. I cried from start to finish. And I think half of the room probably did as well. Um, so yeah, I am very much looking forward to the Bad Batch. We didn't obviously get like a time, like release time or anything. Because um, it's still in production. And we've only just finished the first season. Or sorry, the second season. Um, so yeah, it'll be a while yet. But I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, hopefully they release like a trailer to the public soon because it's kind of hard to talk about things when you've only seen it once on a big screen and then you can't go back to review it and remember things that you missed and um you know we can't share that sort of experience together so i hope they do release something uh eventually and not just keep that specifically for star wars celebration but we'll see um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um and i will see you guys in the next video so peace and may the force be with you